Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron here and in this King of Fighters All-Star video, I'm going to uh, talk about some you know, minor updates that's happening in the game. Uh, nothing really serious, just uh, I need to share about this update with you. That is why I'm talking about. And I'll be also spending my limited rubies in a summon session. So that might be something. Let's see what happens. But first of all, uh, let me just go to the battle. And this uh, friendly match system is actually updated and now you can do a lot of things when you are going to enter any sort of friendly matches uh, i don't really know you guys whether you care about it or not but there are people who actually you know, love to play friendly matches so actually there is a lot of things uh, added in this sort of game modes but that is basically you're going you're going to uh, you, you will be able to edit your awakening level or set a particular awakening level uh, you know either allow the allow the cards battle cards or disallow the battle cards these sort of things so so basically this will be a lot of customization to make the you know uh, friendly match gameplays uh, you know a bit funnier than before so they did it uh, that is kind of interesting thing and next i'm going to talk about uh, this uh, if you go to the summon session and let's go to the unified banner Come on now see uh, here we are in the unified banner and if we check on these tokens now you see that we are having this limited token at the first position and my friends previously this was not the case previously this was uh, like uh, limited tokens we were having limited tokens uh, after spending our existing saved tokens only then we will be able to use them but netmarble did an update and now you can use these limited tokens without even spending our save tokens. Now that is an update that uh, kind of good and I'm a bit angry about it as well because a lot of players actually s spend their entire you know, collection of tickets just only to spend these uh, limited tokens. That's, uh, so that is kind of wacky for them and those pl players actually lost a lot. So what should I say? Netmarble did this update. You know i don't even know how what type of uh, people are actually making these plans and changing it again and again so i'm happy that finally we are able to use this limited tokens first because this should be the ideal rule and same thing same thing for the card you know unified card token you can see that limited token are once again coming first so make sure that uh, there are some days left and make sure just you guys just uh, you know do this uh, summon things completed within this uh, couple of days and that will really help you because these tokens are going to be expired within some days so let me just complete mine what is this <laughs> uh, that's an option card okay that is, is useless in any ways but let me just spend this once as well because i'll be a bit busy in upcoming days so i just want to get rid of these things because is going to be frustrated if these things are you know, expired and I am unable to use them. So that is the update about the tokens. So now next I am going to talk about this, this button here that says imprint stone. And though it looks very important but actually it is not. It is not important at all. This is uh, another useless implementation about which we don't really care because here uh, basically you will be able to salvage or sell or you know unpair your stone or manage your stones uh, more effectively but yeah may, many people will find this useful but uh, personally i don't really think this is useful at all just you know a thing that uh, could have been there for before but they just added it anyways so that was the basic updates that's uh, uh, happening in the game and of course uh, in the dungeons we are having Let's go to challenge dungeon and we are having this uh, demo space dungeon that is uh, of course it is not going to allow me because uh, it will be launched uh, or opened or you know accessible to everyone after a certain period of time and i don't even know when this is going to be opened so whenever this is going to be opened you you guys you will be able to know somehow the game will you know send you some sort of notification or anything i guess or to be on the safe side you better just uh, keep on checking every day i would personally do it i would check it every day 
Now, the thing is, guys, uh, about the summon thing. Now, this banner, let's go to the banner and <laughs> talk about a bit. In, in all honesty, my friends, this is uh, not going to be the banner where you would like to spend your entire amount of rubies. This is not the banner. This is not a good banner at all. And both these characters are kind of, you know, what should I say? People are even talking about that K Dash and Kula was even better than them. And uh, though I like uh, King's fighting style a lot, but rest in peace, these girls are not really that strong at all. At all. And I have checked out uh, previously, I checked out uh, uh, some people's videos. Uh, for example, SS Yuri's Guild Run against Rugal. Uh, let me share that uh, screen, uh, you know, screen grab or screen capture that I took. So you can have an idea. And look at this, my friends. This is the damage. Uh, one of my veteran friends, uh, Paul, his name is Paul. And he was able to get this damage using, you know, SS Yuri Sakazaki, which is four star awakening character with her special card and a very great card sets and everything. And look at the score, only 1 billion. Now, to some, you, some of you guys, uh, this 1 billion damage may seem higher, but in all honesty, my friends, against Rugal in hard mood, this is not even a damage at all in these days. And people who are having BS Leona in, uh, in, as my viewers, many of them actually having this BS Leona, and they know that this damage is nothing at all. And... Of course, the matter of fact that the, he, the screenshot I showed you, the character, uh, the player himself is a very high ranked veteran. He is more than 400 level and he has probably each and every character maxed out. Nearly each and every character he has maxed out 5 star awakening level. He has all those great card sets. Still, he was able to get only 1 billion damage using SS Yuri. And he was also using SS Mai as a striker. And you, you guys know that SS Mai actually uh, applies burn as a striker. So think about the perks and think about the achievements. All the great card sets, all the good striker and the great character, so-called great character, awakened at 4 star. Still, he was able to do just only 1 billion damage barely. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. Though um, SS Yuri seemed a, a bit uh, stronger than King, but my goodness, my friends, I don't want to say anything about it, anyways. So let's just go ahead and start this summon session. And basically, I am going to summon for this card in particular because this card is going to attack, uh, increase attack by five percent and decrease school card, school skill cooldown by one point two second, which is pretty much average, but. As a special effect, this is going to increase Special Signature Fighter's critical damage by 20%. And though critical damage is nothing very, you know, very special, but the most important thing about this one, that this special effect is not limited by anything. It is not limited by time. It is not limited that uh, I have to tag in my character to get the bonus. Because there are some cards, for example, this card here, which is uh, a card from the SSQ and SS Yori banner. And this card has the same effect of increase attack by 5%, decrease skill cooldown by 1.2 seconds. But see the special effect? Increase attack by 13% for 5 seconds and gain super armor for 2 seconds when a special signature fighter tags in. That means what, my friends? That means you have to tag in your fighter to get those effects. And still, those effects will last for only 13 seconds. I mean, how crappy this can be? This is a total crap. I mean, I don't know whatever people are saying, but this is total crap card. Do not go for this card at all. And at the same time, uh, you will not be able to get this bonus when you are playing against certain immortals because in immortals, you cannot tag in your fighter, right? You have to fight all your with all your fighters. So definitely this is not a good card. But in comparison, this card is way better than the one because this is not limited by any sort of, you know, tag in or any sort of condition. So let's go, my friends. Let's go and see what we can get. And this is going to be our first summon. Hell yeah, my friends. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Come on. We need that damn option card. 
and we are not going to spend any rubies at all at all my friends just the free rubies and let's see let's see okay we are getting total bullcrap i guess yeah hell yeah so you go again go again here we go again my friends and it's kind of a you know very early morning in my place i haven't really slept all the night so i cannot really get much excited uh, or do my you know crazy screams or something like that it, it has been a very long day so far but just uh, i'm doing this summon thing because uh in uh, upcoming couple of days i'll be a bit busy i'll be traveling i'll be doing uh, some sort of things so you know i better get rid of these things and because uh, these rubies my friends is going to be uh, valid until 31st of october which i forgot to say in the beginning and i should have talked about it because a lot of people are actually having these rubies and some of them have summoned some of them haven't summoned at all so make sure you summon them within that you know 31st of october because after that these limited rubies are going to be expired so hell yeah my friends let's see okay okay we got a face card we got a face card and better be in the option card my friends pray for me pray f what is this what the this is a set card man come on man just give me the option card and make me happy oh man so we got this damn option card a set card that is i don't really care about this one this is a type 3 oh man who cares let's go forward man let's move forward hell yeah give the option card my friends give it give it that marble give me the option card give me the option card oh 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 looks like another face card ah <laughs> this is king's 3 pg not bad not bad we'll take that but guess what we're having back to back two face cards which we never wanted mm. anyways let's go ahead my friends let's go 4000 rubies left see how these rubies you know go so quickly once you start the summon and this is a, a important thing that you should keep in your mind that whatever you do you make sure that you are summoning for the right character or you are not summoning at all because once you start the summon you cannot stop it you cannot stop it simple as that and this is the ghost of gacha my friends this is the ghost of gacha but you just uh, spend a couple of thousand rubies then you think that yes i have uh, already spent a bit amount so let me spend a bit more and that will uh, you know wow look at this my friends oh man another face card let's see my friends let's build the anticipation and see i want that damn option card my friends i want that please please be oh my god look at this look at this bull what i'm gonna do with that what i'm gonna do with that but still i'll take that i'll take that my friends i'll take that let me check this out how many rubies you're having let's go my friends still uh, a couple of summons left i do believe but uh, i'm kind of hopeless right now because i won't get that option card because you know three face cards out of these couple of summons that's what what the holy god man what the fuck oh, man forgive my language my friends forgive my language i'm a kind of you know oh <laughs> i cannot even scream because it is dawn and everybody is sleeping oh my lord look at this i can't believe it it wasn't even you know you know you know red or something oh my god so good we'll take that we'll take that my friends we'll take that 2200 rubies left 
Let's see, my friends. Let's see. Uh, I think I should have uh, used them in uh, character banner. Should have probably. Oh my God! What the? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh man! So this set card, I hate it, and this is about to chase me. Oh my goodness! Why, man? See, what should I say? What should I say? Net Marble really wants my rubies. Okay, I'll give you the free rubies. I'll give you. I'll give you Net Marble. I'll give you the free rubies. No worries. Come on, man. I don't even know what I'm asking for. Give me another set card so that I can just do the exchange thing. Maybe. Okay. That's not gonna happen. There's too much to ask for. And I don't even care about that. See, listen to me, Net Marble. I don't care about the set card. Because that set card is not that good. Okay. I don't even expect anything. But Net Marble wants my rubies. Net Marble is, you know, giving me some traps. So that, uh. <laughs> You know what, uh, I'll just do some calculation and maybe, uh, probably I can get this entire set card. I mean, if I can just get the set card by using, uh, you know, these free rubies and maybe probably a couple of thousand of uh, my saved rubies, then the entire set won't be that bad, right? Oh, this is a King 3PG, okay. This is an in-game King 5PG, I believe. So... Okay, we are done with the rubies, I guess. Yeah, free rubies completed. And probably some of my uh, rubies are also done. So, my friends, I just went ahead and salvaged my, you know, 3 star and 4 star cards because my entire card inventory was full. Uh, so, if you guys are having these sort of issues about, you know, whenever your card inventories are getting full, you just go ahead and salvage uh, or sell some cards and that will do. So this is the situation guys, we are having one of these uh, type 3, you know, two of these type 2 and none of these type 1. So what I'm going to do my friends, let me know, uh, probably I just uh, go ahead and let me just check it out that how far I am from the pity. See, I mean, uh, kind of uh, far away from the pity I need 30 oh my god so I uh, just uh, decided that I better just go ahead and spend some rubies and reach the pity so I can complete the set because this is a kind of situation where you, you just need this amount of rubies only just a few uh, let me just calculate and basically I'll need 1800 rubies that means less than 2000 rubies so I think the, in this case, if you guys are already having this sort of situation, if you anyone, if you are having this sort of situation, then you should just go ahead and complete the PT and complete the set card because, you know, having the set card for free is not a bad deal. So let's just go ahead, my friends, and complete this uh, summon session with some. And finally, Net Marvel is successful. You see, they are successful in baiting me and spending my rubies, though I oh my god is that oh god damn man another option card holy hell holy hell anyways so net marble is kind of successful in pulling my saved rubies and previously i promised that i won't spend one single ruby in this banner but see i'm now spending but I hope uh, that set card will be something, but though I don't have SS characters with that blast skill, I need to really check out. I'm not really hopeful about that, but maybe in future, maybe, maybe. I mean, having a set is always good, but don't make it like uh, it is going to be so much compulsory for you because most of these limited banner sets are not really... I mean that useful I say even this set is not good not too much good lot of limitations are there 
you have to come you know you know you have to comply with a bunch of restrictions you have to fulfill a bunch of demands and blah 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 okay finally we got the pay and now we are just uh, able to complete our set now we are just going to do that so my friends here we are we got the special signature battle card selector volume 4 and look at this what i got so far two option cards one you know you uh, yuri special card one king special card two of this set one of this set and what we have left is this one so let's just go ahead and select this one hell yeah so we got completed set and that will be it my friends thank you netmarble for, for whatever you are doing i'm not going to spend any single ruby behind this banner my friends so let me know what you guys are doing how you guys are doing your summons uh are the luck is uh, is the luck with you or not so the thing is uh, these things are basically rng so you know you have to be strong before you know summoning any banner because maybe you will not get uh anything in the first pool first uh, pity maybe you'll get a lot of memories in the second pity who knows so it is always better to be fully confirmed before if you are summoning any banner and you must have a lot of rubies of course so i believe that uh, this video was a bit funny and enjoyable to you so make sure you give this video a like why not and subscribe to my channel so see you guys soon in some other videos and till then stay awesome and peace out my friends